Hi everybody, iGamer Podcast here with episode 7 of Bioshock Infinite. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. This is the fourth time that I have done episode 7. Not the second, not the third, but the fourth. So the first time I did it, recorded great. The only problem was, was that it didn't size with the overlay properly. I was actually cutting off part of the screen, and so you didn't see my ammo, you didn't see my health. That kind of takes away from it. Uh, second time... Uh, OBS, the software that I used to record this stuff, crashed on me at the end. Uh, and third time, I forgot to record my microphone. So I was a big, big idiot. I'm not even going to pretend like this is new to me. Uh, I, I, I can't fake that. I'm, I'm sorry. So I know exactly what's happening here. I just got the shock jockey. Um, and I need to fight my way back to the Hall of Heroes. Wow, that was just straight up headshot. Um, yeah, so, fun times, but, um, but yeah, I know exactly what's happening, um, I want to say that there's one point which I'm probably just going to straight up spoil for everyone, and that has to do with, uh, finding, there's a, there's a Vox Populi, uh, hidden code, Much obliged. hidden code book that is hidden, uh, later up. So, that one's going to be a bit of an obvious one. Uh, it's going to be obvious that I know exactly where it is. I, again, I'm sorry. Um, but, I've done this three more times. I've done this three times already. This is my fourth. I would very much just like move on to episode eight for you guys. Something new, something that I haven't done before. Uh, and it's just more entertaining to watch. Um, but yeah, the Shock Jockey is pretty damn cool. I really like it. And uh, it's not as fun as the bu Bucking Bronco for me, though. I really like the Bucking Bronco. That's probably my favorite figure at this point. Uh, that, is, that is a really good figure. Holy crap. Ow. Oh, yeah. Now the motorized Patriot shows up. Thanks. That's, that's very much appreciated. Uh, and I don't like the RPG. The Carbide is an awesome gun, though. Um, I used to be an FPS player through and through. We're all gone. This is, uh, so headshots galore with this one. Oh, it's son of a bitch. Thank God they don't penalize you for that. Like, I've fallen off so many times. So yeah, in the building off to the side here, we'll get to it. There's a hidden... Oh, one of those flame guys. Uh, there is a hidden upgrade. I was a cool event from knowing of. Oh, don't miss that close to that. Right, those guys explode. Why would I surrender? Boom! Great! Thank you, ammo. Uh, oh yeah, and so I'm probably a little bit more talkative of this than I am no in this game normal than I normally am. Um, that has an awful lot to do with oh crap. For a cipher, a um, secret message from the Vox Populi. Secret codes. Cipher no, I don't want to pick up the pistol. Somewhere. There we are. There's supposed to be a hidden code, but oh, they move. Okay, so it's somewhat randomized then. Uh, yeah, so I am I'm a little bit more talkative than normal. That has a lot to do with the amount of caffeine that I have in my system. Uh, I So I'm recording this at like 11 o'clock at night on a weekday. So I'm normally in bed by now. Uh, and that has a very significant amount to do with the fact that I have to be up at 1 in the morning tonight to do a production fix for work. So... Uh, I took a nap earlier today, and it was just honestly easier for me to stay up at this point uh, rather than than miss the, the work that I need to do, because, hey, I am getting paid for it. And, hey, money is good. Um, so, yeah, I, I normally survive nights like this with a little bit of caffeine in my system, and by a little bit, I mean a lot. Um, 
So yeah, I'm I'm a little bit wired right guns now. Hidden in the fellow traveler. Didn't find but I will them, try and shut up during. Funny thing, like we found some old uniforms under the floorboards from the war. <laughs> Took guesses as to why they were there, but <laughs> who's there? Your slate, right, sir? Put the guns down! Oh, okay, look. That's what the code book deciphers. I'm sure of it. Huh. Let's see. Tip the hat to the Vox. Well, there must be more to this place than meets the eye. This is uh, very much, uh, very much in the style of the speakeasy uh, of of the early of, of capitalist era. So lots of hidden rooms, uh, things hidden under floorboards. Uh, very much like uh, the one thing people need to learn is that uh, fear is the antidote uh, to fear. Early, early 1900s. I don't want to be a part of their world. I don't want to be a part of their culture, their politics, their people. The sun. Oh, and let's go for the shield. It's setting uh, on their results. world, and soon enough, all they going to see is the dark. Shields are always good, easy to replenish. Salts are always good because, hey, who doesn't like good vigor once in a while? All right, done here. Move on to the next area. I, I think that's the only major save screen that I've seen while not transitioning between major areas. There's a moment when we're not being shot at. My computer's pretty fast. Oh, son of a bitch. Run around, run around. Oh, no, he's a smart mofo. Please tell me shotgun. Yes, it does. Sweet. Man, hazard pay is right. Alright. on all right next area I don't think I understand how you do what you do I always thought of them as doors when I was younger I didn't just open all right so now I have to get to the uh, to that airship because I want to go to Paris apparently to what do it now whoa I was a little aggressive do, do that whatever it is all right Okay, gondola, shock jockey. Bam. Yeah. What did that teach? The gondola there's a world of difference between what we see and what it is. And you, my sweet Elizabeth. Those two airships what are about to kill me. Needs, or are gonna try and kill me at least. What else could you expect from a liar and killer of women? And there's not you can do to stop me. Oh, sweet child. That's where he is. Alright. Time to worry. Watch out, rockets! Alright. Rockets, that's a good reason to get out of here. How about a vantage point? That one down. Oh man, and I'm about to be de dead. So very, very dead. Alright. As if I killed myself. <laughs> I want my machine gun back. Okay, so I want to get onto that. Shit. Oh, 
Thank you, I have played in FPS before. I understand the tactic of shooting in short bursts. Alright, Mr. Motorized Patriot. Time to help me out here. Okay, I don't see anyone. Apparently there's still people around though. Alright, time to get up there. Some health. Health would be nice right about now. Cause I'm about to die. Alright. Alright. Someone up there, right? Seriously, I don't know where they are. Oh. Alright. That was interesting. No, I don't want a crank gun. Oh god, do I not want a crank gun. Huh. So, that was an interesting fight. Kind of died there. Can you open this, Elizabeth? Let me have a look. I am really out of money. Holy crap. Holy crap, Yours. look at my health. Jesus, I am pretty much dead. Alright, alright. When you were unconscious on the beach, you kept repeating a woman's name. Anna. I don't want to talk about that. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have pried. Where are you from, Mr. DeWitt? New York. What did you do there? Business much like this. Kid is riding on the resume. It was a fine thing you came along when you did. How do you think I ended up here? I gambled, and now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. What do you think that was? Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you. So I essentially got paid to kidnap someone. Is it we're saying it way nicer? I'm rescuing her. From a place she didn't realize she needed to be rescued from. Come on, hurry up. Holy crap. Take your time. Some of us have places to be. Like not trapped in a world in the sky. Let me in. There we are. Alright. Food? Food is good. Food? Food? Health? Food? Food? Alright. So I'm not immediately about to die. Oh, hi. Look at you. Bam. Alright, how about some health? You hold on to this. Thank you. All. Nice. Alright, fully healed. And retrospect probably should have just cleared out the corpses first. But whatever. Alright. 
Bam. So, looks like they call you the false shepherd. And you the lamb. Let's not call each other that. Seems me. That's a little weird. How do you figure they'd know you'd be coming? Either they've got a prophet on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. And that's creepy. That's very intimidating. All right, moving on. You all right? I want to see Paris. I want to see everything. It's up to you now. There's no one. Wait, what is that? 40 north by 74 west. That's not Paris. That's New York. How'd you know that? Oh, one thing oh, I had in that tower I've been, was time. I've, I've been found out. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow who he offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. Come on, Eddie. Talk to Elizabeth. Okay, Come yeah, on. so so the, the, the crook is gonna, gonna try and okay, comfort you. Just turn around and talk to me and we can and... Ow. That was a monkey wrench. That hurt. Alright, we'll be back. Episode eight.